like I just welcome here from 11 Michael Farday and today we are about to answer a problem from lesson 6 solving situational problems involving conic sections. We have here a problem stated that a semicircular tunnel with 4 meter radius has a railway that measures 4 meters wide. How high is the tunnel at the edge of the railway? Round off to two decimal places. In problem solving, First, we need to write what are the given. So the given, we have here a tunnel with a 4 meter radius. The radius is equal to 4 meters. Then the width of the railway which is equal to 4 meters. The next thing to do is to write down what is asked for. Let us write it as find. Find the height of the tunnel at the edge of the railway. Now that we already write down what are the given and what is asked for, now let us try to visualize our illustration. For that illustration, I'm going to use this graph. Let us locate the 4 meter radius. From the center, the 4 meter radius is in here. So our semicircle is up to here. The 4 meter radius, 1, 2, 3, 4, is up to here. 1, 2, 3, 4, up to here. I'll be using this compass. Then let us graph our semicircle. Now let us go from the other side. And that's it. This is our semicircular tunnel. But it isn't done yet. We should label the parts. This is the 4 meter radius, 4 meter radius, and the 4 meter radius. The next thing to do is plot our railway. It says the railway measures 4 meters wide. And from the center, the width of the railway must be divided into 2. So 4 divided by 2 is 2. Let's count 2. 1, 2. It's up to here. 1, 2. Up to here. Now, let us include what is asked for. Let us illustrate it as broken lines. The height of the tunnel at the edge of the railway is up to here. And also from the other side up to here what I'm going to find from this side is also the exact same answer from this side so I'm going to use this one and plot it as point P from this I can say that point P has coordinates of 2 1 from this equation, from this problem, we can identify that the conic section is circle because of the semicircular tunnel. 
So, from the given, let us write first what is the general equation of the circle. From that, I can say that the general equation is x squared plus y squared is equal to the radius 4 meters, 4 squared. So it will be x squared plus y squared is equal to 16. This is our general equation at first, but we already have our point P which indicates the coordinates of 2y. So let us incorporate it in our equation. The value of x will be 2. So 2 squared plus y squared is equal to 16. 2 squared is equal to 4 plus y squared is equal to 16. Let us transpose this 4 to the other side of the equation. So it will be y squared is equal to 16 minus 4. Then y squared will be equal to 16 minus 4 is 12. Now y squared is equal to 12 and we need to cancel the exponent. What we need to do is to square both sides. The square root of y squared is equal to y, while the square root of 12 is equal to the square root of 4 times 3. So it will be y is equal to 2 is square root of 3. But it says in the problem that round off to two decimal places, so y is approximately 3.46 meters. Therefore, the height of the tunnel at the edge of the railway measures approximately 3.46 meters. That would be all for our lesson for today. Thanks for watching!